Hey there, this is a quick tutorial on how to make a back to the top button on a Wix website on both desktop and the mobile versions. When I go to websites, particularly websites that are long scrolling and have a lot of content on them, maybe have a gallery or a lot of information going down the page and I get to the bottom and I want to go to another page and I've got to either do this to get to the top on the mobile or sit um, rolling up with my mouse to get to the top. It's irritating. This back to the top button is going to make it really easy for them to get to the top. So here is a website that I've been building and it's got this button at the bottom here and this is the back to the top button. You can see that if I hover over it, it changes color a little bit. That's what I'm looking to build. So here we are in the editor. Here is that little button that I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to delete that for now. And we're going to build that again. So what I'm going to do is going to go up here into the add and we're going to add a button and down here. And here is the button I'm going to add. Now you could add any of these buttons. You could, you know, you can make your back to the top. There is a back to the top button like that. You can add one of these little pictures, anything you like. This makes the most sense to me. You can also add an image if you want to. You can go into the vector art. You could make your back to the top button, anything, any one of these, doesn't matter. If you're gonna make it something very different like this, you know, branding something to your site. I would probably in very little letters put back to the top above it so that people would know what it was for because otherwise they probably wouldn't know. So here we've got this teal button down here. I want to make it a little bit smaller. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the right hand corner here and then click this little tool icon here and I'm going to open this toolbar. This is a very useful little toolbar. I thought it was a good idea to put my picture in front of the toolbar I was trying to show in my video. So, well, that wasn't working out so well. So here's a, here's a little insert um, to explain what I was trying to show you. So you've got the tool, um, tools, word, and icon up here. If you click on that and you check off the toolbar, the toolbar will show if it is not showing already. You can move it around anywhere you want to. As you see, you've got lots of choices of things that you can do in here. But for this tutorial, I want to show you right here, the size. So if I click on this button here, I can see that this is 225 pixels wide and 37 pixels tall. And if I drag it down, you can see the height changing. And the same down here for this little button. So I can go to here and let's say 50. And all right, so now I've made it larger and then I can, I'm gonna go back and make it smaller. And there we go. And so now it is a little bit smaller and the next thing I'm going to do is change the design. So I'm going to go into design and into custom design. And then I've got regular, what it looks like regular, what it looks like hover. So regular, I'm going to make it this little gold color here. And then hover, I'm going to make it a little lighter. So when people hover on it, it gets a little bit lighter than it is. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I right clicked on it and now I'm going to show it on all pages because I want this back to the top button on every page. Then I'm going to pin it to the screen. And that means that no matter where you scroll on the site, this button is just going to stay down there pinned on. You can pin all sorts of things to the screen. A popular thing would be to put a button that is a, a long vertical button right here that says something like buy now or 
you know, join or something like that. And so that you scroll up and down the site and the button just stays there all the time, giving people an opportunity to buy into or join whatever it is that you're offering. Now I've got it pinned down there. I can pin it to the top, to the center, you know, you get the point anywhere around the edges. And then I can also move it further and closer to the edges and obviously horizontally or vertically. Let's go back to the 20. All right. I like it. This is where I like it. I like it down at this end or at this corner because over on this corner, we've usually got the chat button uh, where the chat opens for a website if you use that. And if I didn't have chat, I probably would put the back to the top over here. But since the chat's there on this website, I'm putting the back to the top over on the other side. Now we've got it styled. We've got it pinned to the screen. We've got it on every page. And we're going to do two more things. We're going to link it so that it knows to go back to the top because you could make this button link to anything that you wanted to. So back to the top. I don't know if anybody links things to the bottom, but anyway, there's that option too. And then lastly, I'm going to add animation. And so we're going to make it float in. And the animation is because when people go to the website, when they open this page up, I don't want the back to the top button there. I want it to arrive there a couple of seconds after they get there, which means they'll probably have scrolled down a little bit by then. So I'm going to make it float in and then I'm going to customize that and I'm going to make it float in from the bottom so that it kind of gives them the idea that it's pointing up and it's the duration is going to be 1.2 seconds. That's fine. That's the default. And then I'm going to make this happen two seconds after they get on the site. You can make it longer if you like. All right. So, and this little button here will watch down here. This little button here will show you how it's animating. There it goes. And I'll do that one more time. See, there it goes. All right. So that is all ready to go now. And so I'm going to go into preview. And here we are just arriving on the site and there it just floated up after a couple of seconds. Could make that longer. Could make it, you know, maybe five seconds. So back to the editor now. We've got this all set. And I'm going to go into the mobile version. So from the desktop over to the mobile. And whenever you add this back to the top button, for some reason, it always appears up in the header. So I'm going to go right click on that and I'm going to hide that on the mobile because we don't need that on the mobile because we've already got a back to the top tool on the mobile. Now they know that people need to get to the top. You know, they need this button on mobile websites. Always use it. Um, very rarely would you want to have a website where it's not easy to get back up to the top. So you find it under this little mobile tool bar here or icon. And here it is back to the top button. And I like to put it again over on the left side because usually there is some, quite often there is something here. By default, when you build your website, often you'll open up the mobile version and this will be sitting over here. And sometimes it's behind this quick action or something that's over here. So you might want to right click on whatever is over here and look at the overlapping items and if it's sitting behind the quick action bar, you'll see it, you know, right here and then you can move it. So right now, if I click on that, see there it is here back to top. And I'll show you in a second what that looks like when it's not where you want it to be here in layout. If I move it over to the right, see it's, see you'd go on here and you wouldn't know it was there. So if I click on there, right click on that, 
I can see the back to the top here and move it over. Let's move it. See, I got it out of there. Um, so if you can't find it and it's hidden behind here, that's how you get it out. The way that you edit this is click on there and then you can change the icon. You can change it to any of these things that you want. I actually used this little hand on a site recently and it was really cute and it, it just happened to fit that website. You know, I wish they, I wish they had more of these. I think that they could, uh, have some fun ones to custom design. You come down to this blue button here and then you can choose your colors. I've already done this. So I chose colors that match the website that I'm doing, but if you click on there, you can choose any colors you want. So for example, if I chose that there, it would change the color on the, on the icon, but I'm going to change it back. And I like mine to be not, um, totally opaque and white. I like it to show the words a little bit behind. So I usually leave it around 70 here and that's it. And then it's already animated. It's already animated to fade in. If you want it to do that floating in from the bottom thing, you can do that here as well, but usually it's set to just fade in. So I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to go into preview here and start scrolling down and there it just appeared and works fine. All right. And so that is, how you get the back to the top button on the mobile and on the desktop. And as I said, um, I really like having them on websites. I think they're important. They're an easy thing to put on. It just makes your website look a little bit more polished. It gives your visitor ease of use, which is the most important thing. You want your visitor to have a good time on your website, not get frustrated and leave. And I think this will help you with that. If you want to know more about getting your site together, meaning that you haven't built your site yet, or maybe you've tried to start building it and realized you don't have the content or the images or anything together, go to my website at Beer Design and download the 21 elements you must have to start your Wix website and just check off everything on there and then you can get your website going and you'll have everything already and websites are so much easier to build when you've gathered everything together ahead of time if you have done that already and you're in the midst of building it and you need some uh, help with that look at my youtube channel i have all kinds of videos starting from scratch on how to build your website step by step by step really super simple and i'll be building more of those soon. And thanks very much for joining me today. Have a great day. It drives me absolutely crazy when